Move it! Get here. Step away. Chaplain's private. <laughs> Let's go. Approach, Richard. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Come on, Roach. Stinks like a mass grave. Now for the human oils. Hopefully, it's all well. for a shot of igni.
Go, go. Stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oil. Well. for a shot of Igni. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Now for a shot of Igni.
Get up. Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through without a pass. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? Sure hope the pass is worth this much coin. <laughs> You've made the right decision. Won't regret it. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Dead man! Dead man!
come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Here. Be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. A witcher, and not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad. So Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Could look into it. If you paid me more. All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't skimp. It's a deal. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back! They got lost, is all! But, if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills, he'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. Or me another, love. You've had enough. No one shall ration my vodka, poor damn it. Or ye taste the bag of me hand. What do ye want? Who rules this land now? The Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? By his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? You, Hendrik? No. Don't matter with that one. He'll bring trouble. 
So long. High time we went home. We'll go once I've drunk. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? Inkeep. Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi! Great boy! What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf! Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I say probably disguised. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Hmm. Wouldn't mind. Drop on the loot. We're done here.
What's new in the broad world? That's it, Roach. Strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. How do you like that silver? Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that, ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, it's strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. through and through. Hendrick screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan.
weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or...? Mm. sack of grain, amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. 